Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're diving into linear regression, a way to explore questions like, does spending more on ads lead to more sales? We'll use real data to find out. Before we begin, you'll find the notebook for the screencast below the video, and at the end of this module, there's a lab where you can try out what you've learned. Let's get started. So let's start with a very simple example. Here we're setting up two arrays for study hours and test scores using NumPy. We'll use NumPy to calculate the regression line with a polyfit method before plotting everything. We'll import Plotly and then import NumPy. Now we'll enter our sample data. Now we'll add the code to fit a simple regression line and then create our plot. So this scatter plot shows a classic linear relationship between study hours and test scores. The blue dots represent individual data points, while the red line is our regression line, showing the best linear fit. This demonstrates the basic form of our model, y equals m x plus b, where the regression line minimizes the sum of squared residuals, the difference between estimated and observed values. So now let's apply this idea to our main advertising data set. Before we get started, we'll create a widget, but you'll have to import it first. Use this code. After you've run the code, you'll need to restart Jupyter and run the kernel again. Now we're ready to create the widget to explore the regression model. Some code to download and import the data that we'll use in our analysis. So now we can see the first five rows of the data frame with columns for TV, radio, newspaper, and sales, as well as other data set information. So our data set contains four variables, advertising expenditures and thousands of dollars for TV, radio, and newspaper, plus the resulting sales and millions. This gives us a perfect opportunity to explore both simple and multiple regression approaches. So now let's take a look at the summary statistics for the data set. The descriptive statistics reveal that the TV advertising receives the highest mean allocation at 147,000K, at $147,000, followed by newspaper at $30,000 and radio at $23,000, with sales averaging around $14 million per campaign. Now let's explore these relationships visually. A scatter matrix, which is created using Plotly Express, can show us how each variable relates to the others. This is an important step in understanding the relationships in our data. This scatter matrix shows how each of our four variables relates to the others, creating a 4x4 four four grid of scatter plots. So we can see the correlation structure right away. TV versus sales, a strong positive correlation. So for TV, we get a correlation of about 0.78. That's pretty strong. The regression line gives us a clear way to predict sales from TV spending. So switching to radio, we see a correlation of 0.58. It's still positive, but not as strong. Now let's look at newspaper advertising. So for newspaper, correlation drops to just 0.23. The points are all over the place, suggesting newspaper ads aren't great predictors of sales. These observations guide our feature selection, and they help us form hypotheses about which channels drive sales most effectively. Now let's put all three channels together in one model using a stats model library. We'll import the stats model formula, and then fit the multiple linear regression model. And here you can see this model summary statistics. So note that our R-squared is about 0.897, meaning our model explains nearly 90% of sales variation. That's pretty good. Looking at the coefficients, TV is positive and significant at 0.046. Radio is positive and significant too at 0.189. Newspaper is practically zero at negative 0.001 and not statistically significant. So this tells us something important. Once we account for TV and radio spending, newspaper advertising doesn't seem to add any value. Now let's make some predictions. Here's how we use our model in practice. We'll create a data frame with the new data, and then we'll use the dot predict method on our model to get the predicted sales. We'll start with the example prediction code. 
So if we spend about $150,000 on TV and $50,000 on radio, $20,000 on newspaper, our model predicts sales of about $19.21 million. That's the power of regression. It gives us a formula to forecast results from different budget allocations. We've now seen how linear regression helps us understand relationships between advertising and sales. Our findings are pretty clear. TV and radio advertising both have a strong positive effect on sales. When we look at the numbers, newspaper advertising doesn't seem to help much when you're already doing TV and radio ads. The math shows that for each dollar you spend, radio actually gives you a bigger sales boost than TV. This is just one example of how linear regression can be used to better understand your data and make predictions. It's the first of many tools for your machine learning toolkit. Thank you.